Hey everyone, so hopefully this video works and, uh, and you're able to watch it. If you're not, then you wouldn't get that message. So why did I even mention it? I don't know, it's late. All right, so um, we, if you were in class yesterday, then you know that we later on this week will be writing essays, but today is not that day. We're gonna not be writing an essay on today. Instead, what we're gonna do is we are going to go into the Pearson book right here which we will be going into in much greater detail next week. And um, in there, there is an article, actually two articles that are examples of literary criticism of Romeo and Juliet, where modern scholars uh, view Romeo and Juliet, the play, in two different ways. And so in literary criticisms, you will have authors making arguments, making claims, and then they will back those claims up with quotes, with evidence, um, with reasoning. And so that's kind of the name of the game today. So what you're gonna do is if the substitute agrees to it, you can work in your small groups and partners if you can work efficiently. And you're gonna go through a whole reading cycle in this class. First, you're going to read the articles. They're not very long. Then you're gonna answer the comprehension check questions. That's your first read. When that's completed, then go on to Canvas and there is a close read where again, you can work independently or in small groups um, where you work through the texts. I think there's six questions with multiple parts. So basically by the end of your first read and by the end of your close read, if you've done it and done it well, you should have a fairly solid understanding of the, the articles. Then that should bring you about halfway through the lesson. Then, um, what I want you and your group to do is to once again look at these articles because in each one, as I said, the authors are making claims supported by evidence and reasoning. And there is a, uh, an assignment posted on Canvas where you break down those claims, evidence, reasoning. That's going to be helpful because starting tomorrow, you're, you yourself are going to be making arguments in, the, in your essays with claims or thesis statements with reasoning, with evidence, the whole thing. So it's helpful to see how other people can craft arguments. And then finally, as your exit ticket, there's a quick write where I ask you if Romeo and Juliet, the play is still relevant today, 427 years later. So you are gonna make a very small, brief, one paragraph response to that where you make a clear claim and you explain yourself. You don't need to worry about textual evidence or anything like that, but you fully explain yourself. Um, that's it. Those are all of the things to do today. Now, if you were thinking to yourself, Mr. Rabel, you never gave me these Pearson books. That's because I didn't give you them. So um, in a lot of the assignments online, the article is posted uh, on the assignments on Canvas. And uh, on my desk, there are a, there is a group of copies of the text itself. So hopefully Miss Mays or wherever your sub is passes those out to you so you can get started on today's work. All right, I will see everybody as soon as I can. I'll keep you in the loop and uh, go for it, get your work done.